Hey everyone. So today's workout, we are gonna be focusing entirely on our glutes. Um, you will not need any weights. Um, if you have a kettlebell or one weight, you can use it, um, but we're primarily gonna be using a body weight work for just one workout. Um, but we have three circuits today. We're gonna go through them twice, primarily because they're gonna be left and right sided. And then we have a quick finisher and we're gonna cool down. So this one should be nice and fast today. We're gonna get started. We're gonna give um, those glutes a lot of love today. So get ready to feel the fire. We are going to start with just a quick warm up. We are gonna start with some leg swings. So starting with your right leg, you're going to swing it out and over, out and over. If you lose your balance, you can hold on to a wall, a chair. I like doing these in front of a wall and switch to the other side, plant that one foot, keeping the toes forward, and really just letting your hips swing. You're not being super rigid, being nice and loose. We have a few more seconds here, just kind of loosening up the hip joints. We have a lot of floor work today. Three, two, one. Meet me on the ground for a butterfly bridge. So you are going to Lay down in a glute position, but keep your feet together and open like a book, like a butterfly. So you are going to lift your glutes up, squeeze those legs together, back down by keeping those feet pressed together. Lifting up through your glutes, squeeze those legs together, press them back down. Beautiful. If this is kind of too much for you, you can just go to a regular glute bridge, or you can stay down and just keep your legs open and shut with the butterfly. We have about six more seconds of these. Three, two, one. Meet me standing up for our one last warm up. We have wide leg lunge hip opener. So, in a nice wide leg stance, as far as you can go, toes pointing forward, a nice wide solid squat. You're just going to stretch. You can put your hands on the ground if you want to stand up, hands on your waist and just kind of shuffle one side to another, really opening up those hips and those glutes. I like to put my hands and walk them on the ground to get a deeper stretch. We have six more seconds of these. Three, two, one. All right, so our first circuit, it's gonna be one of two floor work. So we are gonna do these together. So if you want to stay in a nice tabletop position, so your hands under your shoulders, feet under your hips, nice and steady. I'm gonna let us get ready here. We are gonna start with our left leg. We are gonna start with some fire hydrants in three, two, one. So opening that left leg up and out, back to the center, left leg up and out, back to center. We're not flaring ourselves out to the side. I want you guys to stay super, super steady on that right side. Almost like you're against a wall, so you can't kind of lean into it. I want you to stay nice and straight. Now take these nice and slow. We have quite a few of these. Three seconds, we're gonna go a hydrant with a kick out. So hydrant, kick out, back to a hydrant, close it out. Beautiful, we have those for 30 seconds. Kick out, keeping those feet nice and straight, hydrant, kick out, push out as far as you can. You don't want to just do like a, a loose little kick. Almost like someone's behind you, you're really pushing them away. Back to the fire hydrant. Now you're keeping the one side of your body super straight to activate that glute. From here we are going to straight leg raises, so straighten that leg out and just lift. Lift. I'm actually going to go a little bit like this. Beautiful. So you can see we're not arching our back. Nice and straight backs keeping those toes flexed because that's what's gonna activate our glutes. If your toes are pointed, that's gonna activate more of a hamstring. So activate those glutes. Guys, we're a little more than halfway. From here, we are gonna angle our feet 45 degrees, point that leg out 45 degrees, and we are gonna still do those straight leg lifts. Beautiful. 30 seconds of these giving a lot of love, making sure we're really planting in that opposite, in that right side. We're not leaning in. We're really kind of 
doing a micro wrap in our elbows to give ourselves that we're not leaning into that left side. We are going to go right into a pulse to the ceiling, so almost like a donkey kick, 90 degrees, just little pulses. Beautiful. Keeping a nice straight back, we're not arching. Nice straight back. Again, see how my foot's nice and flexed? Just a teeny tiny little pulse to get that glute, a little bit of that back hamstring there, a little bit of that quad. Now you'll feel a little bit of work in your outside right glute too because it's holding a lot of that weight. From here, we're gonna do a pulse fire hydrant. So, back to our fire hydrant position. Out, just itty bitty little pulses. Oh my goodness, my glutes are already on fire. After this, we have one more, and then we are gonna go onto our right side. 15 more seconds of this side, just little pulses. I'm actually going too big, keeping that foot nice and flexed. About 10 more seconds, whoo, I'm getting a cramp. All right, 10 more seconds, five, four, Three, two, one into rainbows. So keeping that foot out, I'm gonna go straight here so you can see it. Lifting up and over to that opposite leg. Up and over, okay, actually let me, maybe go like this so you can see, there you go. Up and over, up and over. So, again, keeping the back nice and straight. See how I'm not like leaning into each side. You have nice, straight back. You have about six more seconds. Three, two, one. Shake out those wrists. You have a quick little 30 second break. We're gonna do all of that on the other side. So your left glute should be nice and woken up, nice and warmed up. Think of that almost like your activation. I know it's our first circuit, but we're really activating. We're really honing in on those glutes to wake them up for later. So that left side should feel really, really good. Shake out those wrists. We have about six more seconds. Get ready for that other side. Nothing's changing. I'm gonna go here so you can see and start with those fire hydrants. I'm gonna actually get a little bit back so you can see better. There we go. Now our shoulders right above our wrists. We're not leaning too far back, too far forward. And we are using that glute to open and close that hydrant. We're not leaning in with our abs like that. Just using that glute. Focusing on, on that one muscle. Four seconds, we're gonna do that kick out. Three, two, one, hydrant, kick out. Back to hydrant, close it out. Beautiful, hydrant, kick out. Open, close. Awesome, keep that move, a nice strong kick out. Keep those feet flexed. Nice slow, because then you can really feel each different part of your glute here here, back to the center, and where you started. Five seconds, we are gonna to go to a straight leg raise. So drop that foot, put it straight back as I run into a weight, and we are just lifting that leg. You don't have to go super high, kinda of just go as high as like, as your glute is. Nothing crazy, maybe a little bit higher. <sighs> lifting that leg. Just a nice little lift, keeping our arms and knees in line with each other. I know you wanna compensate and lean. Keep everything in line. Three seconds, we're gonna do 45 degrees. So point that toe out a little bit, 45, and a straight leg raise. Boom, opening up another section in our glute there, right? <sighs> Guys, we are almost done. We're about halfway through, and then we're onto our other circuit. This one's gonna go nice and fast. So if you don't have a lot of time to workout, this is a great, great workout to do. Your heart rate should be going in five seconds. We're going to do those um, ceiling pulses in three, two, one. Flip over. I'm going to go here so you can do a nice little whoop, 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 ceiling pulses. So it's actually kind of nice to look at yourself in the camera because I'm kind of pushing out like that. Nope. Nice little ceiling pulses. Ooh, do you feel that muscle change from here to here? That's right. Little ceiling pulse. After this, we're gonna switch those hydrant pulses in three, two, one, pulse, pulse, pulse. Whoo, really waking up that side of the muscle, right? I'm gonna go like this so you can 